So I've worked at you know DreamWorks where we make 3D models for everything, and even characters. To me, I never enjoyed having 3D models as characters for reference because it just it might help with things like anatomy or or getting the outfit right, but it doesn't help for making something look expressive and being able to hit different cheated angles and emotions just right. You know, it's like I want the freedom with my art to be able to do that however I want and I have the uh, grasp enough of anatomy that I don't need to use it for that reference. Um, I also have a grasp of perspective. It's really uh, easy for me now to to draw perspective without even laying down lines. I can I can kind of do it without all the construction lines. Um, and so I, I get it, I, I know how to do it, but if I'm designing something that has a lot of real smooth angles and things, um, which is what I like to design. It's it takes a lot of time to lay down all those construction lines, or or just to kind of re-massage those curved lines without the construction lines. And a good example of this is the lighthouse in Remind. Like, I I made a little 3D model of it, not a 3D, but a physical model of it, had a foam core and stuff, and had a mechanical gear lighthouse working. And I threw it away. I don't know why I did that. But I, and it was for the animation. And then I hired a guy to make it in 3D for the animation. <clears throat> and then I lost those files. So, yeah, I'm not really good at keeping that lighthouse for some reason. But when I started doing the comic, I just was like, forget it. I'm going to just, I'm going to do this the best way I know how, which is draw the construction lines. That's what they do in comics. So I'm going to do it. Right? And, um, the problem I found was, as I would go through the book, I would start doing shortcuts because I didn't want to spend 20 hours um, mapping out these mechanical rounded gears from a, just a slightly different angle. And so I started cheating all the angles of the lighthouse. From After a certain point, I was, done, I was like, I don't need to prove that I can draw this lighthouse from another angle. That's not the point. And now I need to just get this these pages done. And so it became a real, it got in the way because I didn't want to put in the time to do all the construction work to get to that finished page. I just needed that finished page done. And so I started repeating the same angles or I started just kind of um, uh, having the background white instead of <laughs> showing it behind them. And so this time around, I I realized like, and after working at DreamWorks, I found this happy medium where I was like, if I need to have vehicles, instead of going with a real basic vehicle that's real angular and square that I can figure out real fast from other angles, I want to design them like really neat the way I want, but I don't want to spend all the time refiguring them out from just a slightly different angle. So why don't I just do what they do at DreamWorks and, and build these models in 3D? I'll design them really well. And then I'll have them built in 3D. And I was thinking I would just do the 3D at that time. I'll build them in 3D. And then I, I'll never find myself not drawing it because it's just going to take another 20, 30 hours to draw it from this angle. And, um, and I specifically do it for vehicles that are recurrent, reoccurring things in, in this. Because, you know, vehicles don't change shape necessarily they're they're it's not an organic object it's a uh, hard object and it's just a matter of finding a different angle and whereas humans change shape and express different things and so so once i decided to do that with Sithra, it's like um it made uh it made the pages really really way better i think in my opinion because i've designed it the way i want to design it without leaving anything out and I can have it angle after angle, and I can crank through these pages, and it's just as amazing as if I were to spend the time to draw it manually every angle. Yeah. The difference is I'm having a lot more angles that I would want to draw in it now versus cutting corners because I don't want to do that work. And you, you can you can argue that oh I'm being lazy because I want to cut corners, but and that's that's fair. 
I, I am I am lazy in that sense. If you like doing it all by hand and like putting in all that time to lay down all the perspective lines and vanishing points and construction lines and using curves and doing it all by hand, I will probably buy your book because it will be apparent in your art that you love drawing these angles and your mastery of it will be notable. It will be really exceptional, um, especially if you spend that time doing it and you spend the hours every single time and it's like that's it's it's really awesome and i see artists that do that and it's amazing but for me that's not my goal you know and i know how to do perspective and i've already proven it to myself and to i don't need to prove it to anyone else so that you know so my goal is to get these books done and to to be able to you know get a a book done a year or in this case it's like two a year you know, right now, the thing that bothers me more than using 3D is if I cut corners because I don't want to draw something that's overcomplicated because I design it overcomplicated. And then, and then I go, well, I'll just leave the background white here because I don't want to have to draw that, you know. So that's my argument. Um, and I can't wait to show you guys the next 3D model. And you will you will know why I don't want to draw this from... <laughs> Every angle over and over and over and over and over and over again. You will just understand the first time you see it. <laughs> because I don't want to be 90 when I'm finishing this comic. So what do you guys think? Am I cheating by using 3D? Let me know in your comments below. And if you do want to use 3D and you want to make some sketches, send it to a modeler and get some models back so you can incorporate 3D into your comics. Then let me know. I actually have links below to a guy named Oscar who is my modeler. He does an amazing job, and he's looking for freelance work making comic models for people. Let me know what you guys think. See ya.